Many of those Democratic candidates are emphasizing gun control in their stump speeches. The gun control debate continues with President Trump saying that it's time for Congress to act and also saying that he hopes the NRA will get on board. KCAU 9's Trevor Shirley has more. President Trump on Friday was confident that some kind of gun reform is possible, even in the face of NRA resistance. We have tremendous support for really common sense, sensible, important background check. I think we can get something really good done. Repeatedly this week, the president has pushed for expanded background checks, but stayed away from calls for an assault weapons ban. The gun doesn't pull the trigger. A mind, a sick mind pulls the trigger. But the NRA is digging in its heels. In a statement Thursday, NRA CEO Wayne LaPierre said, quote, the NRA opposes any legislation that unfairly infringes on the rights of law-abiding citizens. I think in the end, Wayne and the NRA will either be there or maybe will be a little bit more neutral. But regardless of whether or not the president gets the NRA on board, some gun control advocates say the president's push is a good first step. We need that to be a true universal background check so that any gun that's purchased in this country is bought with a background check. Christian Heine of Brady is optimistic, but warns any legislation needs to be loophole-free. In the past, there has been proposals on the table that have allowed for a lot of gun lobby carve-outs. So far, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell won't call Congress back from August recess to vote on gun reform measures, but says the issue will wait until they return in September. The president says the issue is beyond politics. This isn't a question of NRA, Republican or Democrat. Reporting in Washington, I'm Trevor Shirley. Meanwhile, Central Iowa Senator Jake Chapman says that he'll oppose any red flag gun seizure laws at the state level. Right now, 17 states have laws that allow state court to temporarily confiscate firearms from people who are a, in a, what a judge believes to be a danger to themselves or to others. Now, Senator Chapman says that red flag laws allow law-abiding gun owners to be unjustly targeted.